Hi Haripriya, good morning. Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, just now I have seen your profile. It looks good. Yeah, could you please tell me about yourself? Yes sir. Uh, first of all, thanks to give me the opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, myself Haripriya. I have completed my degree in SRC College at Nagarkoil. I have a knowledge of uh, <coughs> GCP and some uh, cloud technologies. My short term goal is to get a good job for a reputation company and uh, my long term goal is to get a big position in my company. And once again, thanks for giving me the opportunity. So that's all about myself, sir. Okay. Yeah, let's please start the question. The first one. Okay, could you please differentiate between AWS and GCP? Yes. Uh, uh, Google Cloud is a shoot, uh, shoot for Google Public Cloud and uh, computing resources also services. Uh, whereas AWS is a secured cloud service developed and managed by Amazon. So Google Cloud offers Google Cloud Storage while uh, AWS offers Amazon Simple Storage Services. So that is the difference between AWS and GCP. Okay. Yeah, describe the security accepts that the cloud offers. Uh, yeah, actually uh, we have access control. Uh, it, it offers control to the users who can control the access to other users who are entering the cloud uh, ecosystem uh, like so this is the access control another one is identity management so this one is uh, provides the authorization for the application services so next one is authorization and authentication so this security feature lets only the authenticated and, and authorized users access the applications and the data also so this is the cloud offers i mean security aspects that the cloud offers access control identity identity management and authorization and authentication so that's it okay good and next one could you please tell me about various components of the google cloud platform yes we have uh, so many various of components available here so first one is uh, google cloud uh, google compute engine and the Google Cloud Container Engine. Next one is Google Cloud Storage. And uh, next one is uh, Google Cloud App Engine and Google Cloud Data Flow. And also Google Cloud Machine Learning Engine. Uh, finally, Google uh, BigQuery Services. So these are on the various components of uh, Google Cloud Platform. Yeah. Okay. Can you explain what are the various layers in the cloud architecture? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, four types of uh, layers uh, available in our cloud architecture. Uh, that is physical layer, infrastructure layer, platform layer, application layer. Um, coming to physical layer, so this uh, constitutes uh, the physical servers and the network and other as aspects. Uh, coming to the uh, infrastructure layer, so this layer includes storage, virtualized layers and uh, so on and uh, coming to the platform layer so this one is include the operating system application and the other aspects also and uh, coming to the application layer so this is the layer that uh, that the end user directly interacts with so these are all the various layers in the cloud architecture okay so what do you understand about uh, different methods for the authentication of google compute engine api uh, okay Actually, we have three like uh, throw client library and using OAuth 2.0 and directly using an uh, access token. So these are all the different methods for the authentication of Google Compute Engine API. Okay. Could yeah, you please explain briefly on uh, Google BigQuery? What are the benefits of BigQuery for uh, data warehouse platform system? Okay, uh, you mean uh, BigQuery. So Google BigQuery is used as data warehouse and stores all the analytical data in organization. It organizes the data table into data sets. So some of the benefits of uh, BigQuery for the data warehouse practitioners are uh, like uh, BigQuery allocates query and the storage resources depending on the requirement and usage. Therefore, it does not require the uh, provisioning of resources before usage so it can store the data in different formats for efficient store, uh, storage management 
uh, for example google's distributed file system and uh, uh, proprietary format and uh, and also query access pattern uh, and it is fully maintained and managed without any downtime or uh, hindrance uh, so it provides backup and disaster recovery at a uh, broader level so users can easily undo changes and revert to the revert to a uh, previous state without making a request for the backup recovery so this is the benefits of back bigquery for data warehouse practitioners okay yeah could you please explain what do you know about uh, google cloud sdk <clears throat> okay uh, google cloud sdk uh, actually uh, this is a software development kit so it's a set of uh, tools that are used in the management of applications and resources that are hosted on the google cloud platform uh, it is comprised of the uh, g cloud i mean google cloud and the gs util and uh, bq command uh, line tools <clears throat> and the google cloud sdk runs only on specific platforms like windows linux and mac os and requires python 2.7.x other specific tools in their kit may have additional requirements as well so that's it uh, sdk google sdk okay yeah what is gcp objects gcp objects okay Ob uh, object versioning makes it possible to restore deleted or overwritten data so this includes entire databases or uh, like uh, object versioning causes an increase in storage cost but uh, but it also safeguards the objects also uh, preventing them uh, from being mistakenly deleted or replaced so when object versioning is enabled google cloud storage i mean gcp bucket is a historical copy of uh, item so it saved any time it is mod modified or removed so this happens regardless of whether the item is being uh, hit or deleted generation and i mean generation and meta generation or uh, meta generations are the qualities that are utilized to figure out which from of uh, object being referred to a certain context so the term generation refer to a processing of creating material whereas uh, meta generation uh, refer to the process of creating meta data so this that's all about the gcp objects yeah okay yeah could you explain briefly big query yeah uh, big query is a service that can be found on the google cloud platform this service acts as a storage facility for major companies and organizations this reasonably uh, priced and highly scalable software analysis uh, data in memory and uh, make uh, makes use of machine learning to improve the quality of the results and uh, you will have the ability to quickly develop analytical reports and perform real time evaluations uh evaluations of the data with the assistance of a data analytics engine and also bigquery is able to access and work with a wide variety of external data resources and uh, including object storage transaction databases and uh, spreadsheets also so that's it uh, uh, big bigquery okay yeah can you explain what is an uh, application programming interface for google cloud how would it be possible for us to enter the building uh users are able to extend the functionality of functionality of google cloud based applications in a variety of ways by utilizing the application programming interfaces uh, provided by google cloud some of these ways include improved storage access and image analytics that are powered by uh, machine learning so in the cloud uh, application programming interface i mean apis are easily accessible uh, through client libraries and the server side code and the application programming interface for google cloud can be accessed uh, through a variety of different programming languages also so the utilization of mobile apps is made possible uh, possible by firebase sdks and uh, other third party clients so both both the command tools uh, of the google sdk and the web based user interface of the google cloud platform console can be used to access the google cloud apis so that is the application programming interface for uh, Google Cloud sir. Okay. Uh, next one. Um, what is the connection between Google Compute Engine and Google App Engine? Okay. Uh, you mean difference between I mean connection between Google Compute Engine and Google, Google. App Engine, right? Yes. Uh, okay. So the Google App Engine and Google Compute Engine each have a great deal to contribute one uh, contribute to one another. 
So Google uh, application engine is a platform as a service, uh, whereas Google Compute Engine offers a computing resources and also GA is frequently used to operate a wide variety of applications, the most typical of which are mobile backends, online apps and uh, uh, bespoke business software. And the Compute Engine is an excellent option to go with if we want uh, to have a greater influence uh, over the underlying infrastructure. infrastructure. For example, uh, we, we could uh, leverage uh, Google Compute Engine to build our very own storage system or supply specialized business uh, logic also. So this is the connection between Google Compute Engine and Google App Engine. Yeah, okay, good. Could you please explain what are the projects on Google Cloud and how do they work? Yeah, actually uh, the projects act as a container uh, for all Google compute resources and are responsible for their uh, management. And uh, in these uh, projects, uh, they operate as independent domains that are not designed to share uh, resources with one another. So there is a potential for a diverse group of uh, stakeholders and the owners of the project. So that's all about projects. Yeah, okay, I uh, got your explanation. It's look good. Uh, I, got, I will hand over the data to the chat team. They will get back to you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.